Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. So, I'm sure you know Revelation 12, 1 through 5 describes the celestial sign of a woman in heaven clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. So we've already talked about the fulfillment of this in 2012, but in this video I want to focus on what the crown is. So in the head region of Virgo, there's a cluster of galaxies called the Virgo cluster right here and the center galaxy of this Virgo cluster is called Messier 87 otherwise known as M87 and it contains 12,000 globular clusters which are spherical clusters of stars so basically there are 12,000 of these globular clusters orbiting the center of the Virgo cluster in the head region of the constellation Virgo. So this is M87 right here, the crown of 12,000 star clusters in Virgo's head. And What's also interesting is astrophysicists are saying it's that M87 is one of the most massive galaxies in the universe. And this is an article from the University of Texas describing what they actually call a halo in M87. And another point about this star cluster is it measures 120,000 light years in diameter making it not only at the center of the Virgo cluster but also the dominant galaxy at the center of the Virgo cluster and others say that it contains the most massive black hole in the universe so that seems pretty major. And I thought this was interesting too. The coordinates of the Virgo cluster itself are right ascension 1227 and declination 1243. So basically 1212. So this massive M87 galaxy located roughly at coordinates 1212 is 120,000 light years in diameter and has 12,000 star clusters orbiting it. So that's four 12s. So uh -huh. 12,000 star clusters orbiting a 120,000 diameter galaxy in her head at roughly 12 hours and 12 degrees. That's extraordinary. But there's more. The northern portion of the Virgo cluster spans into the Coma Berenices constellation which is known as the lock of hair and the brightest star in this lock of hair is called 12 Comae Berenices so that's just another 12 for you so this region of space from the head of Virgo into Coma Berenices is like Virgo's hair it's the hair of star clusters called the Virgo coma cluster. And these are just a few pictures of the star clusters that are in this region. This one looks a lot like hair. And this one is actually shaped like a crown. So the crown of 12 stars described in the first verse of Revelation 12 definitely must be this crown of 12,000 star clusters orbiting the most massive galaxy in the center of the Virgo cluster harboring the most massive black hole in the universe by some estimates in the midst of Virgo's hair the Virgo coma cluster stretching all the way to coma Berenices and the sign itself, Revelation 12, 1 through 5, describes occurred in 2012, specifically October 16, 2012. So 
there are links in the description below this video that explain that in more detail and I'm also about to upload a new version of that either today or tomorrow so stay tuned for that but I just wanted to say I originally cited this person's work but on closer inspection I don't see how his 12 stars can be correct I don't see how that can be right so I definitely think M87 the cluster of 12,000 stars is the crown in the head region of Virgo within her hair but I also want to comment on this configuration that occurs in 2017 because a lot of people have commented about it and asked about it for the last year or so um, so it's really interesting but it's definitely not the sign described in Revelation 12 so let me just explain why first of all Jupiter is not the celestial body that represents Jesus so in Revelation 12 verse 5 it says the woman brought forth a man child who is to rule all nations with a rod of iron that's a reference to Revelation 19 which says the king of kings will rule them with a rod of iron so we know that's Jesus so the Virgo constellation needs to be giving birth so to speak to a celestial body that represents Jesus and that's not Jupiter in in Revelation 22 it says Jesus is the bright and morning star which can be one of two things either the Sun or the planet Venus which is known as the morning star but then Psalm 19 narrows it down for us and clarifies that the Sun is the bridegroom which we know is Jesus so the Sun represents Jesus not Jupiter so the celestial body that needs to be here at her birth canal line needs to be the Sun not only that but Jupiter is the son of Saturn he was the king of the Roman gods and we know Rome was the beast and Saturn represents the adversary so Revelation 12 verse 9 says the dragon is called Satan which is also Saturn and literally means adversary so Jupiter is the son of the adversary the king god of the beast so if you don't know what I'm talking about with reference to the Roman Empire being the beast you can check out the video linked in the description below called the dragon the beast and the harem that explains it pretty well but Jupiter definitely doesn't represent Jesus it represents the opposite of that the next problem with this configuration is that Saturn is not present Saturn needs to be there waiting to devour the child as soon as it's born so verse 4 says and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born so Satan or Saturn is the dragon waiting to devour the child as soon as it's born and that's a direct reference to the Roman God Saturn who devoured his children as soon as they were born so the planet Saturn has to be present waiting to devour the child as soon as it's born and the child needs to be the son which is the bridegroom Jesus as you can see here so finally what some are saying is the crown of 12 stars up here Mercury Mars and Venus in combination with the nine stars in the constellation Leo the first problem with that that I see is they're not all stars it, it, the text says it's 12 stars but this is um, nine stars and three planets so that's a problem and the second thing is I don't think Virgo's crown would be made up of Leo's stars 
because Virgo doesn't need Leo's nine stars when she has her own crown of 12,000 star clusters and a long lock of star clusters spanning like hair to coma Berenices. So I think that if Revelation 12 was going to refer to another constellation, like if it was going to refer to the stars in the Leo constellation, then it would definitely mention the lion somewhere, and it doesn't. So it, it clearly says the crown is in Virgo, the, crown, the woman, the female constellation on the ecliptic. So um, this is definitely not the sign of Revelation 12. The sign of Revelation 12 occurred in 2012, specifically on October 16th, which was also the true ancient appointed time of trumpets. So I also have a video link below called Ancient Calendar that explains how that, that ancient time of trumpets works. But this sign right here in 2012 was literally the sign of trumpets. And it doesn't happen again until 2454. So for more information, you can check the links in the description below. And I'm about to upload a revised video on that Revelation 12 sign in the next day or two. So stay tuned for that if you want. Um, and I hope you're doing well. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.